So we're looking at the first few questions on the 2018 Foundation Paper 1. First question, work out the half times five. Well, there are three ways of doing this, really. You could say a half times five. Well, I know what a half of five is. A half of five is two and a half. So we've already found the answer. But your teacher might have shown you a more mathematical way of doing it. And that would be to say, well, that's a half times five over one. One times five is five. Two times one is two. So that's five over two. And five over two is an improper fraction, which we know is two and a half. So that's the second way of finding it. The third way is a half times five. Well, there's half a cake. There's the other half of the cake. Not very good drawings, but one half, two halves, three halves, four halves, and five halves. Five, lots of a half, two and a half. There it is. Question two, circle the number that is five less than negative two or minus two. So let's have a look at a number line. There's a zero. Minus two is there and we want five less. Well, we know we've got to go that way because we're doing five less. So we're taking away five. So five less that way is going to get us to negative seven. So that's that one there. Remember, if you're taking, you go that way. If you're adding, you go that way. Question three. Simplify 3 times a times 3 times a. These are all multiplied together. If they're all multiplied together, that means they can be written in any order. So we could write that as 3 times 3 times a times a. Well, 3 times 3 is 9, and a times a is a squared. So we've got the answer 9a squared. Question 4. You could spend ages on this. It's worth one mark only. Now, every mark is really important because one mark could be the difference between a three and a four or a four and a five. So it's really important. But you don't want to spend ages on it. You could get a ruler and measure that out and then try and measure these to see which one is similar to that one. But I'm going to suggest a completely different way. And that is to consider that you've got a partly inflated balloon, that that shape is drawn on it. And if you inflate the balloon a bit more, you'll get a shape that is similar to that because it's expanded in all directions. Or if you deflate the balloon a little bit, it'll be smaller in all directions. So then let's look at the options available to us. Well, it's certainly not that one because that's expanded in those two ways, but it hasn't got anywhere there. It's not that one because the lines have got wider, but if it's going to expand, it's going to expand all over. Well, I have to say, I believe it's that one. Everything has got bigger in the same proportion. So I'm going to put my ring around that one. Oh, read the instructions, circle the correct letter. There we go, done. Question five, work out 20% of 14,000. Now there are lots of ways of doing this. You could say 14,000 times 20 divided by 100. But actually, I think the quickest way is to say, well, I know that 10% of 14,000 has to be 1,400. All we've done is divided by 10, so we've lost the zero, 1,400. So 20% will be double that, so that's 2,800. There we go, 2,800. Question six, write a 0 0.85 as a fraction in its simplest form. So a fraction, but the simplest form. Well, 0 0.85, I hope you know, is 85 over 100 and we want to simplify that both of those we can see are multiples of 5 now I guess you know that 520s make 100 so we want to know how many 5s there are in 85 you could do a little short division 5 into 8 goes 1 there's 3 left over 5 into 35 goes 7 so we've got 17 over 20 and that is the answer to write five eighths as a decimal. Now to change a fraction to a decimal, the easiest thing is to do the top divided by the bottom. There's the top, the numerator divided by the denominator. Put a decimal point there and there and put some zeros. You can have as many zeros as you like. We're not gonna need all those, but hey, eight into five will not go. So the five comes with us. Eight into 50 goes six times because six eighths are 48. With two left over. 8 into 20 goes twice because 2 eighths are 16 with 4 left over and 8 into 40 goes 5 times. 
and we can't go any further, so that's the final answer. 0 0.625. Question 7. A rectangular carpet measures 8 metres by 6 metres. Now oh, there's the carpet. Part of the carpet is covered by a square rug of length 2 metres. There's the square rug. Show that one twelfth of the carpet is covered by the rug. Well, this is going to be an area question. So let's do the area of the rectangle. The area of the rectangle is going to be 8 times 6. 8 sixes are 48 square metres, of course. The area of the rug, that's the square there, is going to be 2 times 2, which is 4 square metres. So we found that the area of the carpet, that's the rectangle, so let's put carpet there so we're clear. The area of the carpet, look at the picture again, there's the carpet, there's the rug, and we found that the area of the carpet was 48 square metres, the area of the rug is 4 square metres, and so we can simply say that the rug compared to the carpet is 4 over 48. And all we have to do now is to simplify that. Divide the top by 4, we get 1. Divide the bottom by 4, we get 12. So 4 out of 48 is 1 twelfth. So we have shown that 1 twelfth of the carpet is covered by the rug. Question 8. Sam, Carl and Eric share 40 sweets, but Eric gets the largest share. What's the smallest possible number of sweets that Eric could get? So I'm going to write down Sam, Carl and Eric, and we know they can have 40 all together. Well, let's give Eric 10. So 40 take away 10 is 30. Oh no, they'd get 15 each. So we're going to give Eric some more. Let's try 12. If Eric gets 12, 40 take away 12 is 28. No, they'd get 14 each. Let's give them 13 each. That's 26. Eric could have 14. That is the smallest number of sweets that Eric can have. The answer is 14. The time in Rio is three hours behind London. The time in New York is five hours behind London. What's the time in New York when it is 1 a.m. in Rio? Uh, London's coming first. Rio is three hours later. And New York is five hours behind London. Okay, so if it's 1 a.m. in Rio, And that's three hours behind London. So one o'clock in the morning in Rio, 1 a.m., one o'clock in the morning. So London is three hours ahead of that. So it's four o'clock in the morning in London. But New York is five hours behind London. So go back four, we'll get to midnight, one more then. So it is 11 p.m. Mustn't forget the p.m. 11 p.m. in New York. Question 10, here is a list of numbers. Work out the median. Well, you'll probably remember that to find the median, you've got to put them in order. So let's do that. The smallest is one, so I've used that one. Then there's a two and another two, so two, two. That three, four. Then there are three fives, so five, five, and five. Cross them out to show we've used them. A six and the eight there okay now the median is going to be in the middle one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i thought as much there are ten numbers so we haven't actually got a middle number the middle is there now there's a couple of ways of doing this you can add those two together four add five is nine and divide by two which is 4.5 or you can just say well what's halfway between four and five it's 4.5 so there we are there's the median now the next part of the question says, work out the mean. So what we've got to do is to add all those numbers together and then divide by 10. To find the mean, add up all the numbers, divide by 10. So let's look at the numbers again. One out of two is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 12, 12 out of five is 17. Add another five, gets us to 22. Add five, 27, add six, 33, add 8, 41. Now we've got to divide by 10, so let's write this down. Total equals 41. 41 divided by 10 equals 4.1.
So there is the mean. Question 11. Now, this is a six mark question, so there's going to be a lot of processes involved here, I suspect. 300 passengers go on a coach trip. Each coach takes 50 passengers. Each passenger pays £25. The table shows the costs for the coach company, so £90 to pay for the driver for each coach and 70 p per mile for fuel for each coach. And each coach travels 200 miles. Work out the total profit the company makes from this trip. Now, profit is what comes in minus what goes out. So income minus expenditure. So what's coming in? There are 300 passengers each paying 25 pounds. So that's the in is 300 lots of 25 pounds. Now you may recognize that 325s are 75. So we know we're gonna have a seven and a five at the front and then we're gonna have two zeros. So 300 times 25, £7,500. Nice bit of income. But what's going out? There are 300 passengers. There's 50 passengers on each coach. So how many coaches do we need? We are going to use 300 passengers divided by 50. So how many 50s in 300? Well, you can do your 50 times table. 150 is 50. 250 are 100. 350 is 150. 450 is 200. 550 must be 250. So it's 650s make 300. So we need six coaches. Now, each coach is 90 pounds. So we need six lots of 90 for the drivers. Six nines are 54. But we've got that zero. So it's 540 pounds for the drivers. The fuel is 70p per mile. I'm going to draw a line there. 200 miles at 70p per mile. So we need 200 lots of 70. Well, two sevens are 14. And then one, two, three zeros. One, two, three zeros. But you might think, well, that's 14,000 pounds. That's an awful lot. But actually, remember, that's 70p. So we need a decimal point there. Now, that's for each coach. 140 pounds per coach for fuel. So we now need to do... 140 times 6. 0 times 6 is 0. 4 6 is 24. 1 6 is 6. And 2 makes 8. So that's 840 pounds for fuel. And that was the driver's 6 lots of 90. So the total cost is going to be that 540 plus the 840. So 540, 840. 1380 pounds the income was 7500 the cost is 1380 so if we do income minus cost that's a zero zero take eight well we'll have to cross out the five put four ten take eight is two four take three is one seven take one is six so the profit is 6120 pounds i've written in the answer there i don't need to write the pound sign because they've put it there for me that is the profit the income minus the total cost